Hello there, and hello to you too. Vlogging with Gipster, back for new episodes of Pokemon the Alternate Take. Sit down, get comfy, and let's see what we'll make. In the last episode, we redesigned Gigantamax Flapple, and in today's episode, we will be redesigning Appleton, and hopefully, a Gigantamax Appleton too. As I said already, I'm going to give them two different Gigantamax forms. Also, regarding the new series I've started, which is RMU, which stands for Redesigned Marvel Universe, is that I'm only going to do two episodes per week. I don't know if I explained this in that episode or not, as it is currently being uploaded. Well, I recorded it yesterday, and apparently I forgot to upload it. Point is, there will be a hero and a villain done each week. So, as I have said before, the hero that I did was Iron Man. I used Timothy Oliphant for that. And for the villain, I will do... I had a hard time between doing the Mandarin or Iron Monger, but I have decided to do Iron Monger instead. I will do the Mandarin some other time, maybe when I've done Shang-Chi. I know the Mandarin is normally, you know, Iron Man's arch enemy. However, you know, because... Shang-Chi and the Mandarin fight all the time too. Hence why he is the main villain of, you know, the Shang-Chi movie. And the actor that I've chosen for the Iron Monger was Tell is Telly Savalas. But I will go over that in the other video this weekend. Of it this week. I don't know what it will be. Point is, so this going away, because I don't need it. What I do need is the Apple and the design. Remember that guy? Because I'm doing its the counterpart to Flapple, the other evolution of Applin, I'm doing Appleton. <coughs> Which, as I said, Flapple will have legs but no arms. Appleton will have arms but no legs. So let's see what I meant by that. So I'm going to do a sort of design that seems like a chest plate. Not a chest plate, a head plate. There we go, and then I'm gonna do it on my like that. So his eyes are gonna be are gonna be up here. And I'm taking inspiration from the evolution of Subjectively's grass starter. I'm gonna do the eyes like this. And note I said the evolution, so And I know that's vastly different from the eyes of Apple, and however, I feel like it adds something to it. Just of that difference. Now, considering that Appleton is an apple pie, he's not fused to the apple. Therefore, that is an actual head plate from the apple. I will do a leaf there. And there we go. And then and there we go. So that's the main body for Appleton, this Appleton redesign. And now I'm doing the arms. And then Okay, that's not, doesn't look good. How about I do it like that? I'm pretty sure once I'm finished with the Gigantamax Appleton, the next one will be the Silly Cobra redesign. Is it Silly Cobra or Silly Cobra? Well, I mean, that part of the name comes from Silicone, so it's probably Silly Cobra. And then, of course, Sandaconda, and then Gigantamax Sandaconda. There's the other arm there. And then I'm gonna make a shell. Now I know it makes it look like a snail, but I mean like 
the only real difference between a worm and a snail is the color, the size, the speed. Well, well, that's all the difference is. Basically, they are just, they're both thin, long things. Just, you know, the one has a shell. And then, well, I guess that's going to be what the apple pie is, though. And I did say that there will be another. So I'm doing two redesigns in the same episode. With, um... Um, two redesigns with um because it hang there's a certain pokemon that loves to hang around appleton and that has to do with something that probably i and a lot of other people would probably have with an apple pie and I mean, like, ice cream is very delicious, and what gory in Pokemon is made of ice cream? It's not vanilla. I know that's technically ice cream as well, but I was thinking of something else. Something more particular to do with it is cream in general, as you'd probably have whipped cream on a pie. So what is that? Well, the all creamy line. However... That's too much to do. Like, if I were to do Gigantamax Appleton and have Gigantamax all creamy on top of that, that'd be too much. So this one has Miltery and the Gigantamax form has all creamy. Just like Dynamax all creamy on top of it. So, all I'm gonna do here is just do the patterns there and then I'll add, then I'll quickly redesign Miltery. That's essentially the body. Now I'll go over the outline. Now to bring up an image of Milsery. There we go. Now I'm doing a simple droplet shape. I'll then rub out the parts that are inside there. This, as I said, it's a man time ramoraid situation here. And then we'll add some arms that look like just droplets of some sort of liquid. Sort of like ice cream, but of course this is this is cream. This one turning around to face that one over there. Mm. 
And since it is pure liquid, I see no reason as to why Milsery can't do it a roll it and just move it its face along its body. So I'm having it a bit deformed as if it's as if it's still trying to reform after just moving its body, its face along its body. And that's of course the arm. And there we go guys, that, wouldn't you say, is a great redesign of Appleton showing, showing, uh, what's it called? Um, it's not symbiotic, parasitic, no, it is symbiotic, right. So a symbiotic relationship between this Appleton redesign and Milsery. And of course, when it comes to the Milsery redesign, you guys will see, you know, full on picture dedicated to that. Same thing with the All Creamy redesign, which I will do in the, in the, uh, uh, the Gigantamax Appleton. It will, of course, be Dynamax All Creamy. And I have been Gibster. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. So good. Bye.